Referees in the fight game understand the risks they take every time they set foot in a cage, ring, or octagon. But these refs certainly got more than they bargained for. And for this video, we're going to take a look at some of the craziest moments involving officials in the history of mixed martial arts. Ahmed Al Darmaki. Things took a turn for the bizarre at a UAE Warriors event featuring featherweights Ahmed Al Darmaki and Bogdan Kirilenko. So what happened? Well, a pretty run-of-the-mill rear naked choke finish took a turn for the ugly when Al Darmaki, for some reason, didn't let go of the choke despite the ref's best efforts to free his grip. To make matters worse, he then decided to kick off, pushing the much larger in-cage official before things cool off. As you might expect, he was not declared the victor, instead losing the fight by DQ. My squeeze a little bit too long, I'm not sure. Wilhelm Ott. We're defending referees a lot so far, but for this next one, we can totally understand why things got so heated. Wilhelm Ott was struggling to fight off a rear naked choke attempt from his opponent a few years back. Eventually, when the choke was locked in, he tapped the canvas to signify he was done. For some reason, the ref didn't notice, so he tapped again, this time on his opponent's arm. Still no referee intervention. Instead, his opponent had to make the decision to let go, and as soon as Ott rose to his feet, he was furious pushing and taking shots at the referee for his failure to notice what was going on. An understandable reaction to a pretty dangerous piece of terrible officiating. Gilbert Ivel. How about this wild moment involving one of the MMA's most reliable dirty fighters? <laughs> Gilbert Ivel has one hell of a track record when it comes to breaking the rules. Eye gouging, cheap shotting, biting, this Dutchman has done it all. Several DQs and run-ins with promoters saw this kickboxer blacklisted for most major MMA promotions. But for our money, he saved his most outrageous moment for a 2004 appearance in Helsinki. With Addy Backman as his opponent, Ivel was getting quite angry with the referee's constant breaking of the clinch. This was an MMA fight, we'll point out. And according to Gilbert himself, when he landed in Finland, he realized that his opponent's manager and the referee were quite close, something that made him feel like he was flown in to lose. Anyway, after several instances of the referee stepping in unfairly, Ivel snapped, flooring the official with a massive punch before then kicking him on the ground. The fight was called off and Gilbert Ivel was given yet another disqualification for his record. Conor McGregor Conor McGregor knows how to grab a headline wherever he goes. FC. Bellator Dublin was the event, and Conor's teammate Charlie Ward had just knocked out John Redmond to secure a crucial win. McGregor, who couldn't wait five seconds before losing his mind, jumped over the side of the cage to celebrate with Ward. Mark Goddard, who was officiating the fight, immediately moved in to admonish McGregor for his recklessness. Conor, being Conor, didn't take kindly to this, so he proceeded to run over and shove the veteran referee. Instantly, what should have been a joyous moment for SBG's ward became yet another major controversy for McGregor. All of a sudden, Conor McGregor going after the referee. He was escorted from the premises, and to this day, he and Mark Goddard have yet to make up. Roy Nelson. Fighting a friend of yours in the octagon is hard work. And for Roy Nelson, an already tough see. Uh, the Mark Hunt and just walk off. Um, but for me, I just wanted to knock him out. But then I... Joseph Neem. What's worse than taking a brutal loss by TKO? Well, for Joseph Neem, his bell was rung pretty badly by his opponent, leading to a stoppage loss. But instead of going out cold, Neem was so disoriented he actually proceeded to wrestle the referee, moving to the back and forcing a full-on scramble out of the official so he could avoid getting choked out. As you'd expect, this made for one hell of a viral clip. But for Joseph Neem, it likely made a tough loss even tougher to come to terms with. John Fitch. A similar situation comes in next, courtesy of the former welterweight title challenger John Fitch. Opposite him inside the cage was the hard-handed Johnny John Fitch Razi Jabari. Being a sore loser is one thing, but for Razi Jabari, it seemed like this defeat was always going to result in a bout of explosive anger. After reaching the end of his contract, suffering loss after loss, he was supposedly in a furious mood all throughout fight week. When he finally lost his fight, he was urged by the referee to be a good sport and shake his opponent's hand. So what did he do? He attacked the referee, causing an all-out brawl. Some people just aren't cut out for the fight game, huh? Marcus Surin. 
Another display of pretty solid referee takedown defense comes in next, courtesy of Marcus Surin's attempt to get this Bellator ref to the mat. Now, in his defense, Surin had just been choked out to the point of semi-consciousness by Devin Powell, and as soon as he realized his mistake, it was all good between him and the cage official. But that referee was forced to bounce around on one foot like a prime Jose Aldo. A rare opportunity for him to showcase his takedown defense. Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje is just about as game a fighter as the Octagon has ever seen. But when it came to taking on his friend Donald Cerrone, he was forced to dish out more punishment than he believed to be necessary. Understandably, he was extremely angry with the referee in question, lashing out at him as soon as the fight was stopped. In the end, the fight was a well-deserved TKO win for Justin Gaethje, but it wasn't without controversy. Gaethje was clearly upset with the referee for allowing him to land several extra shots on Cerrone. It's over. Justin Gaethje oh by first round knockout again. When it was obvious that the fight should have been stopped. Overall, it was a hard fought and exciting matchup, but the ending left a sour taste in the mouths of many fans and fighters. Takeo Shina. It doesn't get much worse than this one, folks. After KOing his opponent's dip with a powerful left hand, Takeo Shina went berserk, swinging wildly at his clearly finished adversary eventually kneeing the referee in the face to get him out of the way. Several huge unanswered blows were landed before security were able to get their hands on him. To make matters worse, his opponent was only making his MMA debut that night. You just couldn't script a more awful introduction to the sport than this. His opponent had been taunting in mid-fight, but that does not excuse how Sheena reacted. Not at all, in fact. To this day, neither man has competed in professional mixed martial arts again. Ma Jia Wen We've seen takedown attempts on a referee, we've watched a rear naked choke being fought off, hell we've even seen a few punches thrown in the direction of an official. But when Ma Jia Wen suffered a brutal TKL loss, he brought a different level of offense to the table entirely, mistakenly latching onto a leg lock as his officiating referee attempted to get away. Ma Jia Wen was out, he went, he attacked the legs of Olivier Cost. Like most of the others mentioned here, he was in a very dazed and confused state, but this is definitely one of the funnier entries on our list. Dan Hardy The former UFC welterweight title challenger Dan Hardy may have been forced to hang up his gloves early due to a rare illness, but in his role as an analyst and commentator, he remains an unavoidable presence within the MMA world. Down with Francisco Trinaldo, Dan Hardy was outraged. He was so outraged, in fact, that he left his position in the commentary booth just so he could have a go at the veteran ref Herb Dean. For a commentator to do this is totally out of the ordinary. And even Hardy himself was forced to admit he was a little hot-headed. Daniel Cormier Daniel Cormier and John Jones do not like each other, not one bit. And at the A has yet to be resolved, even as DC hung up his gloves in retirement. And uh, at 40 years old, you know, with so many other... Uh... Jesse Joe Mesa as far as bizarre moments go, this one takes the cake. Getting your bell rung by your opponent can leave you in a highly vulnerable and confused state. And for Jesse Joe Mesa, who was just dropped and nearly finished by his opponent, he was running on pure instinct. Springing to his feet, Mesa immediately started swinging wildly at the first thing he could see. In this case, the referee. Luckily, this was no regular ref. UFC veteran Frank Camacho just so happened to be officiating the fight, and despite Mesa's attempt to take his head clean off, Camacho remained calm, leaning away away from the shots before clinching with Mesa as soon as he could. As you'd expect, there were no hard feelings as soon as the fighter realized his mistake. These things happen in the fight game, folks. What else can we say?